29-year-old Verdi celebrated his first success as a composer with Nabucco, Nabucco was nothing less than a revolution for opera. The force of the music was unheard of for opera goers at that time. It is worth knowing a few things about the opera and the most beautiful passages in order to enjoy it to the full. If you would like to know the plot of this opera, click on the link on the top right. At the time of composition, Verdi was in a deep personal crisis. Within a short time his family had died away. His wife Margarita died at the age of 26 and their two children were carried off by an epidemic. Verdi considered giving up composing. He himself later described what followed. The director of the La Scala had stuffed the libretto to Nabucco into his coat pocket and when Verdi arrived in his room he threw it on the table. The booklet fell to the floor and it opened at the exact point of Va pensiero solale dorate. Verdi's eyes fell on this passage and he was electrified. That very night he read through the libretto. If you have studied the plot of the opera, you will probably have noticed, as many do, that it is not easy to follow. Verdi was not looking for a coherent plot, but for scenes that fired his imagination and he found them in Solera's novel. The magnificent marches, lamentations, scenes of madness and prayers are inspiring and make opera lovers forget the complicated plot. A special feature of the story is that the love story is completely pushed into the background. The tenor and soprano have very little presence. There is not even a love duet. There is little room for lyricism in this opera. There is perhaps no other opera where one experiences the almost brutal and elemental power of the music as in Nabucco. This manifests itself in the role of Abigail, the vengeful and power-obsessed protagonist. But Nabucco, the orchestra and the chorus also contribute to this. These four elements form the core of the opera and I would like to discuss these four aspects. Let's start with a secret protagonist, the king's daughter Abigail. She is both obsessed with her will to power and tormented because Ismail rejects her love. Her music captivates with its obsession, which Verdi documents with wild leaps of tone. Incidentally, Verdi's later wife Giuseppina Streponi was the Abigail at the premiere. Abigail's counterpart is Nabucco. Verdi deliberately chose a baritone role to reinforce the gloominess of the work. The role of Nabucco encompasses all emotions. He begins as a ruler, becomes a madman and at the end Verdi presents us with a transformed Nabucco with a cantabile that shows human traits. scenes do not fail to have an effect on the listener. With Nabucco, Verdi had composed an opera in which the chorus has the presence of a leading actor and even sings the most famous passage in the entire opera, perhaps in the entire history of opera, with Va Pensiero. is led by Zakaria, 
the high priest who leads the chorus to ecstatic moments. Verdi is a romantic composer and does not stand above his art with classicist reserves like Rossini, but is a participant, a person affected by the stories he sets to music. To conclude, let us listen to an excerpt from the great contratato scene of the first act. <laughs> 